All right, this video is going to cover adding multiple recipients or a distribution list, if you will, to your Ninja forms. I get this question asked quite a bit. So I decided to go ahead and create a video explaining there's three basic ways to do this. It's actually very simple. And there's three basic ways to do it based on your needs. So let's take a look at those. Right now we have a very simple form. And if you need this form to be sent to multiple people, the first thing that you can do is come over to your email actions. You probably already have um, either an admin notification or a regular email notification going to the person who filled out the form. You can just simply come over here and add in a comma and a second email address. and that will send a copy of this email to both of those email addresses. That's the simplest and easy way to do it. The next option um, takes it to the next level, which gives you some more configuration. So instead of putting a comma in here and adding another email address, you can come over here and add another notification, which is much better, in my opinion, because then you can turn it on and turn it off when you need it and you can configure how the message is going to look and, and in the next step the third one we're going to show you how you can even make it conditional so right now we have the admin notification let's say that we want to send a copy of this to joe and a copy to the site administrator so what i would do is come over here and click on the gear click copy so it creates a new copy I would come back to the gear on the copy and I would change this to Joe so that we know that this one's going to Joe and instead of Chris at the Outdoor Life we'll call this Joe at the Outdoor Life and now Joe's gonna get this message it's just that simple if you want you can come over here and you can customize this a little bit maybe Joe doesn't care about what the person's saying he's just collecting the email and phone number of the person he doesn't care about their first name or maybe he does a first name but he's going to, we're going to give him the first name email and phone number and not the other stuff so we're going to tailor this a little bit so we're going to remove all fields we're going to come over here and we're going to add in the first name then we're going to add in the phone number so we'll come down to the next line click on phone number go down to the next line and add in email address maybe he's just creating a distro list for the newsletter and email. So now we have just the first name, the phone number, okay, and now we can get rid of all this because we don't care. He doesn't need any of this. We'll just delete that. That's all Joe's gonna get. Just the first name, the phone number, and the email address so Joe can add it to the newsletter list. So now he gets that. We just hit done and we hit published. When this form is filled out, the administrator is going to get everything and Joe is going to get just what he needs for the um, newsletter. Now lastly, we can set this up so that it works off of conditions. If you have a need for conditions, let's say that we're going to add in, we'll do this real quick, we'll add in a question right here and based on the answer of that question, that's going to decide who gets it, whether the site admin gets it or whether Joe gets it. So we're going to come over here and we're going to go back to our form fields. We'll add in our question real quick. So give me one sec to put this together. Okay, we'll ask the person filling out the form what kind of products, for what industry. So we'll say which sport. We'll say paddling. cycling, and backpacking. The admin, Chris, is going to get paddling and backpacking, while Joe is going to get cycling. So anything that is sent to the system that's paddling related or backpacking related is going to go to one recipient, and then if it's cycling related, it's going to go to the other recipient only. So we'll go ahead and hit done. That adds it to our form. We'll go ahead and publish this. So you can see what it looks like up front. So there's the there's the question. So we're going to come back over to the emails and actions. This one is for Chris. So we'll go ahead and add Chris to the list. 
and we're going to come down here to where it says conditional logic and we're going to say when this option is one of these two send it here Okay, so that one is set to process when either one, any of these. So if if somebody has selected paddling or if somebody selected backpacking, then this action right here will process. Now we'll come down to Joe's. We'll take a look at Joe's condition. We'll say process this when any. We'll select one. Has selected cycling. So now. Joe will only get the email if they've selected cycling here. And Chris will get the email only if they select paddling and backpacking. That's it. So that's how you set up the conditional logic to pick which one's going to get it. And if you wanted to, you could still put in another one that went to everyone. So we can come over here. We can easily just do it this way. We can just come back over here and duplicate it. And we can change this to everyone. And we can take out the conditions. So we can say none, none. So there's no conditions. So now this person here will get every time. To recap. You can take your initial administrator email, add a comma to the to field, and then add in your second email address. Or you can create a second action that is specific to the new email address that you can turn on and off. Or you can create a condition that's based on the way the person fills out the form to decide which one of the actions are going to get sent.